One owner car guy, one owner car guy.com. Picking out a Christmas tree. Kids are playing in the snow. Shooting the six hour and the 22s. So other than that, this video is about a car that I already sold. It's one of the cleanest little Shasta campers on a Ford F-250, straight six, one owner, super clean, great runner, like a Chinook. It's already sold, don't call to buy it, but I'm just putting it up because a lot of people didn't see it because they used to have only like 10,000 subscribers back then. So it's a new time. In fact, I used to go through all the way the video without even editing because I didn't want to hide anything or act like I was. So whatever, enjoy, here we go. And what I've got here for you today is a beautiful one owner Shasta. It's a custom F-250 is what the chassis is. But it's a Shasta, class C or class B. I don't know what class these are. I really do not, I always get them mixed up. Um, please comment, tell me, and all that stuff. You can, see, you, can see, you can see my shadows are creeping right up into there and it's gonna be on it in a while. I had to really zoom out to be able to do this video um, without getting my shadow all up in it. Um, it's kind of a once around and I'm gonna go up close and show you a close up, any flaws or anything like that. God, it's a beautiful rig. It should be in a movie. Johnny and the Johnsons or something, I don't know. But this is the perfect size. You can actually hop in it, drive it to wherever you're going, stop at Walmart, pull right into the parking lot, drive it to the RV park, plug right in. I mean, just park it outside your family's house too. They're easy, park it in the driveway. You can almost fit this in your garage. So, that's your once around. I'm Nathan, it's 406-544-6919. This RV's for sale. You need to call me up, this is for sale for sure. Um, so, that's that. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. You can also check out BeaglesPocket.com for miniature pocket beagles. Cutest little beagles in the whole wide world. And yes, I'm a little biased on thinking that. Okay, so, I'm gonna run up and show you underneath before it gets too dark. <coughs> Super clean. And as you can tell under here, look at this. That is just beautiful. Trannies, tight as can be. Uh, motor is just clean as can be. Not a leaky mess or nothing. This has been maintained. All the plastic parts and stuff are still there. Got a little patina where the um, road road gravel knocks off um, the paint off the top of the undercarriage there. Uh, you could actually seal that up with some undercoating if you wanted. Uh, the factory plastic and fender wells still in great shape. Look at factory paint on the frame there. I was gonna do some stuff, but I just figured leave it. See, you can see a patina on that. Not a rusty truck at all, just where the paint came off. You can see the paint came off from around there. Clean as can be. Look, you got a new seal. Cork seal on the gasket there. <laughs> this is one clean truck. And I like to see upkeep, you know, stuff like that. Basically, if somebody doesn't have oil and tar from one end of their car to the other. That rhymed! I'm a poet and don't know it! Well, it's usually a pretty good sign that somebody took care of it and changed parts as they failed and didn't leave them to fail longer. It's like there's some kind of a Monroe huge shock. Kind of a different shock on the back there. Don't know what all it is. Um, very clean little truck. That is for sure. Okay! Hop on out of here and do it to it. Um, I'm gonna go around now and I'll kind of show you any minor flaws on it, which there ain't much to talk about about that. This is one clean truck. So, let's do it. Down along here, it's a little bent up like they get. Just a little wavy like they get them. And it looks like they maybe even touched it up a little bit right in there. Um, your labels are a little bit frayed in certain places. You'll see miscellaneous chips in the labels like that. This has this piece built to go over it. Um, outside electric and all, also, for your water. Um, this one works and all, but it's a, you gotta pry it off and I'll tell you, you might end up buying a new piece at some point because them do get sun faded. Tires are 
they got 40% tread on them or so. They don't seem dry rotten. They're in very good shape. Oh, it's a Goodyear tire. Um, the front have got a heck of a lot more tread than that. Um, I'd say 70-80%. They're a Goodyear also. And they're in great shape. Now these are them big old 16.5 LTs. This ain't cheap tires, man. Um, right here. A little bit of pieces. Been kind of touched up, puttied up a little bit. A little slice in it right there. See, that's the kind of stuff he's puttying up. Guaranteed. Just to where it don't split farther. Um, little thing in the stickers there. See, that's where the sticker will come off. Right? Exactly. Yep. So, that right there, and a little slice right there. That's the worst of it. I think it had an awning at one point right there. And it don't know more, but I'm not sure. I'll show you the awning inside in a second. Cab is super clean. Super clean. Look at this. Seriously. And this original paint, man, it's clean. This is a vinyl sticker over the white, I think. Um, yeah, to match the Shasta, for sure. And the sticker fared a heck of a lot better on the paint. A um, little bit of overspray-ish type stuff here. I don't know what he did or how he touched up, but it's got something there. And you can tell the hood. The hood they did something different with. It doesn't match the rest. It's a little faded differently. I could have this color match to make it look great if you wanted. A little bit of something right there. And the side's pretty dang clean. Looks great. Nothing corroded through or nothing anywhere. It's just clean as can be. Nice California metal. A little bit of moisture in that light. It still works though. See there? Just a little wrinkle. And going down the side, it looks like he kind of fixed something in here. Not fixed. This looks like he fixed something right there. A slice or something? And then, yeah. Same thing there. This side, the sticker fared a little worse. Um, the cover could use a coat of paint or something. This is a made. You can order these. And I was going to order one for it, but didn't really have the time to wait. Same thing on this side on the bottom. Just a little wrinkled up and spot where there's a little hole like that. He should be kind of done what he did there and, well not that big, but it will uh, Yep, that's right. Just over it and then you could kind of spray that whole piece. They make the paint. Um, it's cheap. And it's a nice, nice, nice truck. I'm going to jump up here. I don't like the way that is. I do not like that. I think its whole thing is slid to the left just a bit. It feels solid. Clean up top. Very clean. I just put two new vents on there. Lots of luggage space, man. That is some luggage space up top. But this whole ladder is bent over, you can tell. And it's very solid. I feel relatively safe until you see it. And you're like, ooh, wow, that's kind of... So I think that should be kind of tinkered with. Man! That's your once around. That's your twice around. You went all around this thing. I'm going to get out of these people's way here and get over to the other side of the truck to where we can get by. Jeez. In the way. In the way. That'd be me. Well, OneOwnerCarGuy.com One Owner Car Guy. Look at the chrome. As nice as it gets, man. Nice as it gets. Okay, I'm gonna do the test drive and then do the inside back up at the house. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Thanks for watching. And I'm gonna go up and clip this thing all here together. Let's go. It's a clean truck. Look at this. Wow. That's a muscle car. You don't gotta shut the doors that hard either. Very clean. High score on the auto check. 
And you can look at the miles that they put on it right here. And look at they put what 400 and then like 300 and then like 104 and they just didn't put many miles on it. Now that's a buzzer. Now I'm gonna let that buzzer go out and to where you can hear how this thing starts. <laughs> it's nice. Um, AM FM and it works. It's all good. And we're gonna take off and get back up to the house. It's a beautiful day out. Well, I'm not going out in front of that guy. I've seen how people drive around here now. OneOwnerCarGuy.com BeaglesPocket.com You'll likely see my Beagle when we get back out to the house here. This thing plugs right on up to the thing. I didn't need to put the foot feet throttle down but a third of the way. And it's just going like it out tomorrow. Uh, downshift just like it should. Upshift just like it should. It's a nice truck. I can get these shipped anywhere in the United States. Uh, I'll export them anywhere in the world. Uh, anywhere you want. This is a longer test drive than usual. Not as long as I'd like. Yeah, buddy. It gets up and goes. It does get up and go. Yeah, I didn't even floor it. I put it down about halfway. Floored it right there. I don't want to get over 40. And we got to slow down for the corner. And that's, you know, the tranny goes right through the ropes. There we go with a nice downshift and an upshift. That's how my truck got wet on the way up. Well, the corner's nicely too. It's a very nice driving truck. And that's the neat thing about it. It's not huge like a big old even the little motorhomes, they don't drive like this. This drives a lot different than anything. Anybody can drive this, seriously. Get this as a first car for your kid. Now see, wouldn't that be cool? They wouldn't think so. That don't matter. Ooh, my ladder. Now that's slick. I had my ladder and it just fell here. So I'm gonna pull up here. I th think about that. I'm driving the trailer, grabbing a ladder and filming while driving up that driveway. This thing is very easy to drive, trust me. Okay. I'm up with a ladder back there instead of the former. Yes, sir. Factory AC. And I've never seen the Ford factory AC over there. Forgotten 214. Brent Henry and um, a couple other guys on here, man. You guys like some unique stuff like that. Well, I started trying to take some videos like this to where I could show cars on the highway and such. And I was just one little light before the highway. And I had my trusty camera here. And figured, what the heck. And this is a nice, nice truck. Uh, great motorhome. Plenty of power. And I tell you, it pulls the hills nice. Roll the window up since we're gonna get on the freeway here. And it's a very nice truck. And just so I give you a little bit of freeway action. And that's flipping right on along at 70, excuse me, 65. To that interstate on the, going to Vegas being 70. 55 in Oregon. 65, 70 is a lot nicer than 55. This truck ain't got no problem going right along. Oh, it's beautiful in and out. They do the complete walk around here. They California blue plates. Up 
to the complete review of the outside, either before this, maybe even before and after this, you know how I should. But this is your freeway test drive. And man, it drives nice. Nice Harley. Something about the way a Harley sounds and feels. They are just a very unique bike. And there's something about a way a Ford 300 straight six feels. These little 4.9s are great trucks. This here's the perfect size, too. where I usually picture these up in her cul-de-sac. God, this thing's nice. One owner uh, vehicle, I believe. Ooh, it's got the old school um, speed control on it. Wish I'd have tried that while I was on the road. Well, thanks for watching. That's a test drive. The door panels are in great shape. Very great shape. A little scratched up up here like they did. A um, little bit of rips on the side here. Now I can get this repaired if you wanted. I just didn't know what to do because it, it wouldn't match. Um, but very easy to do. The foam is in great shape. It's not all messed up. This is in great shape. Missing a button. Uh, missing a button. Look at that. Just beautiful. And these are original miles of 73,000. Dash is not all cracked up. Must have been under a cover because these things usually rot out like crazy. Had a little ant in there. It wasn't my uncle. Dual tank. water and your electric I see you get a you need to get a custom one of them you're gonna lose that someday this one's a lot nicer on this side it's in great shape that's the ladder I was telling you about shag carpet baby that mat is beautiful they hardly use this thing it's just beautiful it's in great shape And into the back we go. I'm going to show you into the hood before I do that. Just for the heck of it here. Wow. Holds up on its own very nicely. Look at that. Just beautiful. Great shape. Everything just as it should be. Nice 300. Straight 6. Torquing new fuel pump on it. Actually, we put the fuel pump um, distributor cap and wires fresh, all kinds of stuff fresh. This thing's been upkept. Auto Light 84. It is definitely nice, that's for sure. Fender wells, nice as can be. Inverter. Multi-battery multi isolator. Oh, that's right. It's got two of them up here. Awesome. I thought that was an inverter. <sighs> Look at these connections. It's just beautiful. It's in great shape. <clears throat> Opens and closes nicely. I'm going to go ahead and... Now the handle's broke. Easy to work, though, still. Okay. Here's my ladder, which <laughs> I'm going to put up here for now and show you this here, RV.
I hear a blinker. Then I'll end up bugging someone. Not no more. Put this up there for now. And I'm gonna turn this one on to where you got them all, all your cab lights on. Okay. Oh wait, this one here. Might be for that. I don't know what that switch is for. Door opens and closes nice. Flooring is all new. Um, I put it in. Um, it's in great shape. Looks brand new. Has a warranty from Home Depot, I believe, or Lowe's. Um, cable back here. Very easy to set up. Your fridge is in great shape. There goes the tray. Um, oh, there's a little tray like that. Magic Chef Automatic. Ice maker? No. Huh, interesting. High quality, that's for sure. Now, how easy is this to do? I don't know. The heck is that? Water pump? Oh, there's a microwave in here too. I forgot about that. Um, not plugged in on the microwave. Oh, you gotta pull it out here and plug it in. Exactly. I think this was added after the fact, most likely. Um, your, your um, drawers here, you got some extra hooks for the curtains, so we're up open them, but there's no handles on these, and this one has on the, it's on the rod there, and the other one is not, or on the little supporting rafter, so they are a little harder to get started when you don't have a door handle on them to open them up with. Um, other than that, I figure I'll open them all for you. See that one? Same thing. Although you can use it for storage. It, here's your pipes and such. Bathroom, and it's in great shape. I, I doubt they ever hardly used it. like that because we just cleaned, I mean changed the vent. Nice and clean on the toilet. Shower, nice and clean. Okay. Let's show you how quick the table is to do. When I say how quick, I don't know because I've never done it. Oh, right there. Okay, so pull this down and pull this down. Bingo! Bango! Can't beat that. It is easy. Um, and it hooks right into the groove there. Where you're done. Hang on a sec. Hey, somebody help me! I'm going to get somebody to answer this phone. Um, beautiful truck. It runs and drives great. And nobody is coming to help me. Give it to Samantha. to fold down when it makes into a bed. Okay. Once around, twice around. All your blinds are up in here. Very, very nice. Very, very clean. This is nice. Little chips here. A little bit of scuffing on that. Fire extinguisher. No guarantees on if it's charged. Might want to check that out. Um, this one doesn't latch from the inside. It's not latching on there, and so it kind of hangs open a little bit. They're all in good order. 
let's see. Actually, this one has a plastic drawer insert and could use a little freezing, but they all close nicely. And the last one with the tire wrench had all the books and everything, and they all got taken um, at the auction, as sometimes happens. Uh, your cord and all that. The power. It has all kinds of other stuff under there. Also, so you do have an access to there. Wow, seat belts, man! Seat belts! Holy smokes, you can seat four back here and two in the front. You all could actually sit in here. That's awesome. Oven's nice and clean. Um, let's get this here. Don't know if this is how it goes. That's how it is right now. This piece, I'm flipping back. Is that how you do it? I don't know. That's how I just did it. Well, that's that, and that's that, and you've seen it all. I'm gonna end this up at the other side of the road to where you can see it from a different angle and all. And we'll go from there. OneOwnerCarGuy.com Can we back this down the hill? Well, of course we can. This thing, seriously, this thing is like driving that little 300 CX there. Really. I got palm trees and cars everywhere. Back and down. It is no problem. This is like driving a car. Be safe and know what you're doing. But, I mean, really, it's like driving a car in comparison to a, a motorhome or an RV. Just not very RV-ish on the bulky end. And responsive, and right now, what these are a very reliable uh, motor and tranny setup. Oh yeah, perfect, beautiful up here got um, sun's all different now to where hopefully I can get a different view outside as well and do a walk around like that and kind of show you how that all is in a different light all right one owner car guy dot com this ain't some big production this stuff ain't all edited up or nothing this is just me showing you the shape of this truck. See, I'll be able to show you the hood better now, which I really do dig. Never. Ooh, I'm running out of gas. I sure am. I bet that's the case there. I think it is. Okay. Show. You see? It's faded areas. And I think it should just be sanded down and repainted. He actually did something, you can tell. And it just don't match, right? And I could color match this. This is right there. Windshields. Windshields are such. It could be a tiny one somewhere, but it looks in great shape. The cab's in great shape up top, up above there. Not all rusted out like they get. Nathan, 406-544-6919. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. I'm just going to kind of walk around the outside of it here, show you the outside of it. Straight as can be, showed you any flaws, love the color, it's a great color. The stripes, everything, it just sets it off. Very vintage. Driving this thing cross country, I don't know. Parts are pretty easy to get for it. Um, with anything like this, you've just got to understand that you're not spending 140 grand, so Mercedes ain't going to come and pick you up. You need AAA or something in case, and you might get stuck on the side of the road for a day where they're in a 
Shumalupa, New Mexico, where they don't have the exact hose you need while they order it in. I don't know, there's always a chance.